Holy crap. They found me. Oh my God. Yo, what's going on everyone? Charlie checking in. Happy Wednesday. Right there to every single one of you, man. Hopefully y'all having a great, wonderful, blessed day, man. It was all everything you wanted. And uh, and yeah, yeah, hopefully, you know, here we are on the other side at the end of the day talking with each other and just I'm blessed to just wake up to another one. So um, I ain't got too much going on today, man. I got to um, got to go by Walmart and get Skylar a birthday card and stuff. Her birthday's tomorrow. So um, I've done send her mom the money. So she's got her money. She can spend that on whatever she wants. <laughs> you know, um, it's good just to give them a little something to hold on to and look and let her know that daddy loves her. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, what else? Um, yeah, I fooled y'all a little bit last night, you know what I'm saying? The police were sitting outside. They had they had pulled a car over for something or whatever, and I filmed it, made it look like I was hiding out from the cops. You know? <laughs> My little joke, you know what I'm saying? I like I like to have a little fun with it, you know, people. I like to have fun with people, you know, everyone's saying that, oh, no, he's, gonna be, he's going to jail, you know? So I figured I'd just mess with him a little bit, you know? So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't really have too much planned today, so um, let's go ahead and take a shower and see about getting Skylar her birthday card. Oh snap, yes. God, I was wishing that they would have played the, the, the theme song, man. It scared the guts out of me every single time, so. That's what I'm doing this morning, watching Unsolved Mysteries. That eat me a uh, banana, 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 banana. All right, let's see here, before I head out this morning, I want to share with you guys my reading right here. Flip to day 55. It says, uh, reflect, reflection on embracing what's important. It says, we spend so much time on unimportant things, things with no ultimate meaning, yet for reasons no one seemed to fully understand, such non-essentials stand at the center of our worldly existence. They have no connection to our souls whatsoever, yet they have attached themselves to our material functioning. Like spiritual parasites, these things eat away our life force and deny us our joy. The only way to rid ourselves of their pernicious, pernicious, I don't know that word, pernicious, pernicious, and I'm gonna get that, help for that. <clears throat> the only way to rid ourselves of the pernicious effects is to walk away, not from things that need to get done, but from thoughts that need to die. Crossing the bridge to a better world begins with crossing a bridge inside our minds from the addictive mental patterns of fear and separation to enlightened perceptions of unity and love. We're in the habit of thinking fearfully and it takes spiritual discipline to turn that around in a world where love is more suspect than fear. True. To achieve a miraculous experience of life, we must embrace a more spiritual perspective. Otherwise, we will leave this earth one day without ever having known the real joy of living. <laughs> So, yeah, that kind of coincides with another reading that I had with page 83, I think it is, I saved it, you know, it's just about letting go and just letting life happen, you know what I mean, and just being happy and thankful for everything that you have and hopeful for the future, so that's pretty much what I'm taking out of it today, man, I'm just going to live, I'm going to love, and, you know, yeah, let go, you know, be cautious of who my friends are, but also just learn to just let go, so that's that. All right, off the Wally World for a birthday card. Love and the marriage, love and the marriage. Quack, 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 quack. Good morning, duck family, duck mama. It's so nice out here. All right, here we are. Can't wait to find a good card. <clears throat> See this one right here. <laughs> Someone took her right into it. She's adventurous and great imagination like her father. Okay. <laughs> I'm just happy to be in a different place of mind now, man. You know what I mean? There's been so many years, like I said, that I've messed up through my drinking and through being so selfish. You know, it just feels good to be able to give, finally be able to give to her, you know what I'm saying? And, and hopefully rebuild this connection, you know, that we had, you know, once ago, you know. Skylar, I love you, baby. Okay, let's see if we can get this open here. I like this. You shine so bright. I can't even read it. Whew. All right, so I got her card, man. That was a little harder than I thought, man. 
but like I say, it's good to do. I, I enjoy it, you know, and uh, <laughs> it won't be so hard next year. I promise you that. So now I want to get me something for my hair. I mean, I got to cut it. Uh, I cut my own hair. Go figure, right? So I think I'm going to go with this Con Air little deer right here. It's only 15 bucks. We got this right here. It's 10, but it looks kind of kind of narrow I don't really want to mess it up man I want to get something kind of decent man cuz I used to cut my hair with the worst clippers bro and uh, I remember one time man the guard fell off on the back right here and it skint me all the way down to the to, to the skull you know so I went ahead and I shaved it and then I took a Bic razor and I balded myself all the way out man and this is back whenever I was working at uh, the paint store too so I was dealing with customers and stuff and man, I had a customer come in and straight fall on the ground laughing at me, dude. Told me I looked like Uncle Fester. And you know what? He was fucking right, dude. <laughs> so I will never, ever shave my head again. I feel so weird now with my shaved face. God, man. So weird and awkward. I just, I need to get some stubble back, man. This, 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 this ain't right. Some people say I look, I look handsome. Thank you all for saying that. But, uh, you know, handsome is about how you feel, too. Shit. <laughs> Alright, so some hard decisions I'm gonna have to make here today, man. I'm sitting here thinking, bro. Oh, and I also want to show you, where's the chocolate? They got their Christmas cookies back. Bluebell's supposed to have the Christmas cookie back. Where is it at? <laughs> anyway, like I'm saying, man, um, gotta think about what I can and can't afford, man. I really want to go to Universal Studios, man. Really, really bad, but I kind of want to eat, too, you know, and you got to kind of weigh what you want versus what you need. And I need groceries, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get 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 fooded up, get groceried up, and unfortunately maybe pass on Universal Studios this year. There's always next year, so yeah. That's what I want to share with you guys. Out of this world. I'm just trying to distract myself from the fact that I'm not going to Universal Studios. And like I say, it's fine though, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm 21 about it, and I just understand, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather eat then you know go get scared by jason and the gang so that's what it is okay see so, yeah not very healthy looking but it's a healthier choice than universal studios <laughs> like i say it's either that or star so i think i'd rather eat definitely teamwork makes the dream work Yeah. Oh, what's that? Kids get off school early or something? Or oh, okay. So yes, good decisions daily, man. Like I said, I really wanted to go to Universal, but I want to eat too. So that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and put up these groceries and just be happy with the fact that I got something to eat. And uh, and yeah, we'll talk some more about good decision making here in a few. Let's see if we can get this right. Ooh, child. All right, got a little hair trimming. Hope you guys can see me. This is my new hair. And it'll save me a lot of money. Like I said, I cut my own hair. I'm, I'm just that kind of pimp, you know what I'm saying? Dirt Rascal Broke Pimp. And you know what, man? You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that, man. You cut your own hair to save a few dollars or something, man. So be it, bro. Don't let other people damn get you down. We all can't shop at Versace. I shop at Goodwill. And I'm happy for it. So, let's see here. I'm doing another one. I don't think I'm gonna do number four. Number three ought to do it. Number three. Number three.
Okay, let's get this right. There we go. I think that's gonna be right for me, guys. <laughs> All right, so it's nice and cool out here. I am enjoying it so much. <laughs> So I just got done putting all the groceries up, got my hair cut, nice and clean, man, everything is, I'm a new man, new day, new man. So, you know, it's all about good decisions and making wise choices. And um, I feel like I've been doing that the past couple of days, man. And um, I'll get a little closer with you guys here. Um, and it feels, you know, it feels like a lot of you guys are seeing that in me, man. It just makes me feel really, really good, you know. Um, this environment that I'm in, it's just, it's just so calm and relaxing, man, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like this is what I needed yeah, after I got out of rehab. You know, I feel like I needed a place like this where I can just, I can just kick back and relax. And like my friend told me, man, the very first day I got here and I sat on the couch, you know, they said just, uh, said, just be yourself. That's all they said. They said, I don't want nothing from you. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be a friend. I want to be a friend helping out another friend. And uh, I just want you to just be yourself. And, uh, and it really touched me, you know what I'm saying? It really kind of threw me off guard a little bit, you know, to, to be in a spot where, you know, automatically, you know, people aren't sitting there calling, um, calling upon family members and, and telling them this, that, and third about me, you know, and all, just all these vicious, evil lies, you know. Just messing up my situation from before I even get in, you know. From that, you know, and then also from a uh, situation, you know, where I was with somebody that actually wanted attention themselves and just couldn't, it was causing more for me, you know. And uh, it just feels really good to be in a situation like this. Um, it, um, it really, it's really opened my eyes as far as, you know, you know, for who, who, to, who you should pick and choose as your friends. And, and it's kind of hard because I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about this. Um, like I say, I didn't really know this person, you know. I was, I was reliant on a person before this person and uh, they turned out to be some kind of troll or whatever, you know, fake screen, the screenshots, yada yada, et cetera, and a third. You know, they 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 baited me until the very end, and they just cut cut my knees out from under me. I guess hoping that I didn't have any place to go, and I mean, instantly I found another place, you know. And so I went from somebody I didn't really know, trusting them completely, to somebody I don't know at all, trusting them completely. And it can be completely different. The person that I did kind of know, they let me down. And this person that I didn't really know, man, they just picked me up and, and helped me out, man. And, and it's really something. Um, and uh, I'd say it's telling, you know, to, to, you know, to, to re recognize this shift in demeanor and mood and atmosphere, you know, and recognize it for what it is. You know, that's the fact that, you know, I'm getting by with help from friends. Some of them I don't even know, you know. You get by with, the, what's that, with the kindness of strangers, how that song go? So, um, yeah, yeah, you know. And um, like I said, you know, a lot of people have left my life. You know, a lot of people have, have uh, uh, went against me for their own deals, and they just opened the door for real true friends to let me in, uh, to, 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 for me to let real true friends in. And that doesn't necessarily mean that I have anything against these other friends. And, and it's sad as a matter of fact, you know, because, um, you know, they're picking and choosing, they've been picking and choosing to continue um, this negativity that they've been that they've been going on lately. And it's come back to really bite them, man. It really has. Um, they're messing with the wrong people. And uh, these people, have, have, they, they've gotten chewed up and if they're lucky enough, they'll get spit back out, you know. Um, and, and it's a shame, you know. Uh, uh, somebody that they that they picked over me, that you know, that, that they trusted over me, you know, listened to the to the psycho babble, yada yada, and uh, and then they got turned on in the end, you know. And, and it's kind of and it's tragic. I won't sit here and say that you know karma isn't isn't working its it, it, its thing, you know, because it is. But um, it, it's, it's still upsetting to see this stuff happen to people. You don't want to see it happen to anybody. Me, somebody that, that deals with it on a daily basis, you know, wait, I, every, every day I wake up, there's new videos about Charlie, you know, there's new rumors, there's new hearsay, and <laughs> new campaigns against Charlie, you know. Um, so for somebody that wakes up daily and, and goes through all the drama bull crap, because that's what it sells, drama sells, you know. Um, it's made my channel trend. My channel's been trending the past three or four months, <laughs> you know. Um, but it's really swayed a lot of people. A lot of people, good honest people that I thought that had their, their minds in, you know, in the right place or whatever. But, uh, you know, swayed and, per, and, and, and pursued by outside interest until they, uh, 
they're not thinking themselves anymore. So, um, but you know, I can't, I can't dwell on any of that, man. Like I say, I have pushed all that drama and negativity aside. You won't see me um, call anybody out. You won't see me expose anybody, you know? I'm just sitting here just trying to fix my life and do the right thing on a daily basis. And I'll show you guys that, you know? You know, uh, uh, people who say anything, I can sit here and just, and, and just talk so I'm blue in the face. Oh, you know, I'm not about that drama, the negativity, yada, yada, you know. But as soon as I start making videos about it and this this person and that person and pointing fingers, well, then, you know, I'm just, I'm making a liar out of myself, you know. So uh, I choose. I choose to, to, to ignore all that and, and focus on the love, you know. But I, I did have to bring it up today because, it, like I said, I don't watch the videos. I don't read comments, you know. But people still send me stuff. Every day people are like, oh, have you seen this? Have you seen that? Hey, look at this, that, and the third, you know? And um, so, I mean, I'm still in the loop. So when I hear about this and I and, 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 uh, and see this group falling apart, you know, because um, they didn't trust the right person, um, the fall isn't what really gets to me. It doesn't hurt me so much as just knowing exactly what they're going through and, and being able to sympathize myself. You know, it, it's... Um, yeah, I understand, you know, it, it makes me compassionate to, to, to them, you know, and uh, but like I say, you know, I've, I've got to focus on the people that have came into my life since this, this fall, this, this breakdown in my life, you know, and those that are still here for me and that want to help me and want to see me do better, you know, that's what this is all about, you know, and I'm doing it on a daily basis, man, <laughs> and like I say, it feels good, like I say, you do good, you get good, and it shows, man. And a, and a lot of you out there are seeing this new me, this change in me, you know, this happy me, uh, this me that is able to be myself and uh, and just relax. Um, one, without having any outside interest bringing the drama back on me, and two, not buying into it myself. You know, like I say, I've got my moderators. Uh, they gave me my they gave me my comment section back, man. I'm so thankful for that. I'm so happy and blessed. That, I'm able to reach back out to you guys, you know, so I want to thank all my moderators for that, man, straight up from the bottom of my heart. You gave me back something that I love, and uh, and, I, and I thank you so very much. And I thank, I thank all you supporters out there that reach out and, 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 and try to connect with me, you know, because that's what I do it for, you know. Um, so this is almost a sense of therapy for me, <laughs> you know. I mean, in a way, it does help me pay my child support and stuff like that, you know. But it doesn't give me enough to live a nice, comfortable life, you know? I do this uh, to be able to get stuff off my mind and be able to reach back out to you guys. And, uh, and I'm, I'm just so super grateful for it. And I learned, you know, by dealing with all that drama and going about stuff the wrong way, I learned what was most important to me and, and, and you know, what it could cost me should I um, abuse this, this, this opportunity and this privilege and this gift where I where to I abuse it again. So, uh, you know, say you don't know what you got until it's gone, you know, and I did lose mine for a little bit and I'm just so happy to have it back and, uh, and I want to abuse it again, man. Like I say, I'm just so happy to be here somewhere I belong. Uh, things are just so comfortable and, and, and my life is so much more enjoyable. It's not permanent, you know, I've got to find somewhere else to go, you know, but uh, I'm working on that and I'm just thankful for you know, this brief reprieve that I have where I can just sit back and collect my thoughts and my breath, you know, and uh, try to set myself back on the right track. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave that with you guys. Somebody was wanting to see our fish tank here. We don't really have many fish. What we got here? There's our little sucker fish right there. I got to tell y'all, man. Oh, man, I got to tell you this story, bro. We had gotten ourselves a fish tank one year and we got a bunch of tetra. There's also a black one around here with a red tail. He is a meanie. But anyway, man, so we got us ourselves a fish tank. We got some tetra and whatnot. And we all got to pick out a fish. Well, I picked out my fish it was just because it was a shark. I picked it out. Turned out to be a sucker fish. It was like a vacostomus. <laughs> and I loved that fish. I named him Marilyn Manson. <laughs> he was a vacostomus just like this, except he was black and brown. That's all white. That's that's coma white right there. But uh, yeah, this one was black and brown orange, and I named him Marilyn Manson. Well, uh, about a month after having him or whatever, Marilyn Manson died, man. I woke up one morning, and he was just sitting down there on the bottom, just floating around. And boy, I cried. <laughs> I cried so much for that little fish, man. Uh, 
Uh, I think we went out and got another one. I don't think I named him Manson, though. And, uh, but y'all never forget it, man. I had a sucker fish named Marilyn Manson. He died, and I bawled my eyes out. But yeah, this is nice, man. You know, they got like a little, what's this, like a little tore up Jeep or something. I think this is actually where uh, the meanie lives. I'll try to catch a picture of him later. But uh, supposedly, this uh, fish tank came with the house. So, uh, yeah. I know a lot of people are like, oh, what's up with the TV on the floor? And, and no pictures of this, that, and the third. They're like, hey, the people just moved in. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, if... If all the people have to, are, uh, to complain about is me using a little too much butter on my sandwich and um, TV on the floor, man, then I can I can go to sleep comfortably knowing that, <laughs> man, I'm doing all right. So, uh, yep, that's it, man. I'm going to go ahead and find me something to eat, man. Just so thankful for every little blessing that I have. And uh, I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. So y'all take it easy and peace. That was a weird outro.